Hello everybody, today we're going to talk about how to create a new project in ArcGIS Pro and go over some of the uh, basic elements of the ArcGIS Pro interface. So let's start by opening ArcGIS Pro, click your start button, browse to the A section and open the ArcGIS folder. In there you'll see a number of different Arc programs, we're looking for ArcGIS Pro. Let's select that and wait for it to initialize. When the open screen appears, we're going to create a new project. Notice that you have the option to open some pre-existing projects that you had in previous sessions. We're going to create a new project. So there's some templates that are offered here that will give you some predefined elements within a project. So we're going to start a brand new project from scratch and we'll place the elements in ourselves. So we're going to click start without a template. And that will create a new project for you. Let's take a look at some of the different uh, sections of the ArcGIS interface. So notice that at the top, as usual, you have the ribbon, and the ribbon is made up of various different tabs. So each tab uh, contains a set of tools that pertain to the tab name. So in the map tab, you have a bunch of different tools that relate to anything to do with maps. Those tools are further subcategorized into different palettes. Each one of these little sections here are called a palette. Now over on this left hand side you will have the contents pane and usually by default over on the right hand side you can have the catalog pane. These two panes are quite important and we'll keep those open uh, for the duration of the project. If you happen to close down one of the panes you can simply go into the view tab and open up that pane again. The same thing goes for the contents, you can reopen that up. You can also reposition these panes by dragging them around. You can have them free floating on your window or if you want you can hold down the top of the palette and move it around and you can dock it by selecting some of the different sections here over to the side. So those options will dock your pane but the same with the catalog or any of these other tabs as well. So the contents pane contains all the elements that are contained within that project. We do not have any elements right now, that is why it is empty. The catalog pane contains information pertaining to files and data that relates to the project. So once we create a new project and add some data, we'll see some information in here as well. The first thing you will want to do, most likely, is to save your project. So notice you have a save button at the top, and you can also go to the project tab and select save or save as. The first time you pick the save button, it's going to ask you for a location for your new project. So go ahead and select a location. You can create a new folder in these locations by hitting the drop down or right clicking in the pane and uh, titling your project folder. You can have spaces in this project folder if you like and inside that folder make sure you give it a name and then say save. So notice that at the top of the ArcGIS window you will see the project name. So let's take a look, quick look inside the folder that we just created. Go to File Explorer and uh, inside the folder that you just created for your new project you'll see a number of different files and folders. So you'll have a default geodatabase folder uh, which will contain some information once we start to add some data to it. There's an index folder and there's also an APRX folder. This APRX folder is your project file. This file contains all the links and information pertaining to the project. So anytime you want to open a pre-existing project, you can simply double click on an APRX folder file and it will open in ArcGIS Pro. So that's it for your introduction to the interface of ArcGIS Pro. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye now.